That is a big, big hit. Instant impact. And he's celebrating his unique style. A monumental blow. And look at what it means to them. Can't wait for this one. We are back at the Brian Lara Cricket Academy in Trinidad. And one of those two sides will finish the day on top of the table. It is the TNT Red Force against the Leeward Islands Hurricanes. Well, very ambitious first delivery of the innings. You're not sure about the pace or the bounce. And to play a shot like that, Kieran Powell. Well, he's out there. He knows what he wants to do. There is backward square, but he can only watch it. It's the first runs and it's come via maximum. He struck it well. Short delivery from Shannon Gabriel. Struck it well. Went all the way. But I'm still not convinced is the way to start an innings. Very straight and very good. Kyron Powell's not messing around. Overpitched delivery from Jaden Seals. And was hit firmly through mid on for four. All timing, straight bat. No problems whatsoever for Kieran Powell. He has flat batted that all the way for six. Kieran Powell, man on a mission to start this game. That was a huge blow. He struck that well. With a bit of disdain, I might add. It was a short delivery going wider of off stump. And Kieran Powell slapped that over long on for six. That was a tremendous blow of Shannon Gabriel. Just a piece of bat on it, and that's all that's required. Good way to end a big over for the Leeward Islands. 13 from it, 26 for none. Everything he has hit has gone to the boundary today. advancing down the track again wasn't a bad delivery from Jaden seals certainly wasn't but look how far down powell was so he got to the pitch and hit it away through extra cover for four powell is not phased whether it's spin whether it's pace is to disappear to the boundary today Slightly on the shorter side from Dale. And the kind of mood that Powell is in, if you're slightly off, you'll be punished. Robust. Third maximum for Kyron Powell. Been unstoppable so far. More problems for Darren Gango and the TNT Red Force. That was right in the hitting arc and was clubbered away for six by Kyron Powell. Goes again. The bravado on display from Kyron Powell. Wow, four maximums already in the first five overs. 51 for none after five. Sounded so good. Off the middle of the bat. Still on the run, you don't often see get clubbered. That was a powerful stroke from Paul. And that maximum has brought his 50 in just 30 deliveries, Kieran Powell. His slugs went into the stands. And he's saying to the train down and to be a go right for his team. It doesn't matter who you bring. I'm going to continue in this vein. 
He's hit three fours and five sixes already. And again, goes leg side. Another crisp stroke from Karen Paul. He's a man on a mission. Yeah, not something you see too often when Sununa Ryan is bowling. But once more, he's given him length. And because no fielder is in that deep mid wicket area, he feels quite happy to take it on. I mean, even if there was a fielder, he was easily clearing it. And he responds very well. Karen Paul can do no wrong. Just using the pace, opening the blade of the bat. And he picks up another four. Yeah, Kieran Powell just showing that he's not just all muscle. He does possess some finesse. And that's well placed to the right of Terence Sainz. That's loose, picked up. Not the ball to bowl with that field. No one on the boundary behind, square on the leg side. And that is the 100 up in the 14th over. I like the mood that he's in. He came out with intention early. On the line of the leg stump, just helping it over. Fine leg, lovely shot. Shot. Wow, he's latched onto that quickly, Graves. That's the best shot he's played so far. Quick hands. Authority all over the shot. Really well played, quick hands. Spanked, he's getting into the mood now. Bold him. That's the big fish. It's one shot too many for Kieran Powell. But that is a stunning innings. Really well bowl. He has been the impactful player this season for the Red Force. Celebration as well. Yannick Carrier removed the dangerous Kieran Powell. He's gone for 75. The score is now 110 for one. Bowled in. That's a fantastic Yorker from Terence Hines. Tailed in as well. They've gone bang, bang here, TNT. The famous celebration of Terence Hines. I don't know what it is. I have to ask him after, but I love it. He's good at bowling his Yorkers. Tail back in. Early. Early in Casey Carter innings. What a ball to get. Love the celebration. I have to ask him what it's about after, Matt. I love it. Casey Carty is gone for one, 113 for two. Fantastic pull shot. He plays that well, Graves. Just swiveled. Hits it really hard. He has that short arm jab pull down pat, Matt. He's, he gets his hands so fast through that shot. Quick hands. Oh my Absolute Jaffa. Just drew the right hand of forward, spun the ball past the edge. Classic leg spinner's delivery. You can know when a leg spinner is in the mood and he's bowling well. Look at that. Look at his follow through halfway down the wicket. Oh, he's gone big there. One bounce for aggression from Graves. Just got a bit straight there, carrier. Oh, what a catch! Josh De Silva just stuck out a big right mitt and the ball nestled perfectly in it. That's a big moment. It's a lovely catch. Stick out that mitt. It's a great catch. That's a splendiferous catch. Well done. I love the celebration though, Matt. Karim go gone for three. The score is now 130 for three. Oh, 
Van Dijk. Races to the boundary. Think he may have tried the wrong and then. Looked like it came out the back of the hand, but just very full. And wall sweeps and sweeps well. Execution was good. Maybe a little too full. It was that googly. Line probably not the right one. Cracking stroke. Could be the shot of the day. All the way for six as well. 150 comes up. Well, again, not the easiest of strokes to complete, especially with a delivery that is outside the line of the off stump. He made the switch. His body position on this occasion was much better than the last one. Ball in his eye line. And the contact was superb. Catch it, catch it. Long on. And Carrie Pear makes no mistake. 4 6 and then dismissed. Yannick Carrier again strikes back. And it's exactly what you could glean from the approach by Hidden Walsh Jr. It was high risk from the get-go. And you could sense that it was a matter of time before he presented an opportunity. Just there. Instead of taking an easy single, chipped it to carry pair. Carrier with his second wicket. It's 151 for four now. In the gap. It's placed well. Should be a couple and will be a half century. Seventh for Justin Graves in list day cricket. And he'd be hoping he can go on to get that first hundred, but it's been commanding the way he's led things from the front. And at the top of the order, first game for him opening in a while. Carrier again. He has been so good in this competition. Continues to get wickets. When you flirt with danger, you pay a heavy price. We've seen this time and time again. Graves just playing at deliveries, turning away from him, on occasions missing, but not this time. Couldn't quite negotiate the degree of turn from Carrier, who's been so consistent. Confirmation that it was a legal delivery. Just probed away. At Graves, hands going further than that front foot. And the outside edge found. Great reward for the wrist spinner. Justin Graves, his wonderful innings comes to an end. 58 from 71, 166 for five. That's got passed, backward point, and it's gone for four. The power of Cornwall. 174 for five. Oh, leading edge, Lucky. Gonna run away towards the boundary as well. Oh, watch the knee. No, no. The ball has gone for four. More concerned about Jason Mohammed's knee, actually. They're really pitched into the turf. Right, he wants Jake? that sent upstairs, but it's already been signaled for. Yeah, and just because of this damp outfield, it's always quite dangerous trying to slide. They have to be careful. Catch it. That's massive. Got right underneath that Jamar Hamilton. It's one of his big shots, the pull. It's the first real drag down we've seen from Carrier all day. And Jamar Hamilton does well, firstly, to pick that length quickly, get onto the back foot, and then he's able to get under it and hit it for a massive six. That's close. Given the finger goes up. The question was, did it pitch in line? It did turn. Yeah, fourth wicket for Yannick Carrier. Yeah, 
looks dead. It looks dead. Good bowling once more. This time he got his length right. He got a lot fuller. Rakim Cornwall choosing to go back. Ill advised, and he misses one. And that's crashing into middle. Goes for just seven, Cornwall. Leeward Island Hurricanes want you to eight for six. Ah! Reverse. Oh, that's got to be out. It is. Quicker delivery. That was straight. And a bad choice of shot, I'm afraid. You have to wonder just what Jamar Hamilton was thinking. The last two recognized batters at the crease. Almost given LB the ball before, and this time he chooses to reverse sweep. Unfortunately for him, he doesn't make contact. He has to go for just 18. They were Island Hurricanes lose another at 188. 188 for seven. Did he nick it? TNT thinks so, so does the umpire. Another one goes. Another five wicket hall for Yannick Carrier. A loose drive by Kofi James off the pad of keeper Joshua De Silva. And then taking that slip by Sunil Narain. And off he goes. They were worried about Sunil Narain with the ball. But this is the guy they had to worry about. He's taken five for 47. And he still has four deliveries left. Yannick Carrier. Kofi James goes without scoring. 188 for eight. It. That's a good strike. Hit with power, struck cleanly, and he gets six. Good blow from Daniel Durham. Got you. Right in the hitting arc. Struck it well. There was a fielder at the deep mid wicket boundary, but only to retrieve. Oh, yeah. Got him. Significant turn from Sul Narine. He has set up Alzari Joseph with one that pitched outside the off stump and came straight into the stumps. What a delivery. Look where that pitched. Look where he ended up. And even in his previous order, did over DJ Ganga. There were two or three deliveries that came back. And I mentioned that Alzari had no answer. And look at that delivery. He's gone for three. Azari Joseph, Leeward Islands, Hurricanes in real trouble. 198 for nine. Oh, yes. And he's bowled off the first ball. Narine with his wizardry. Back to back wickets on the back of three maiden overs from this man. What an impressive spell. What an impressive showing from the Red Force after being put to the squad in that opening partnership. That's why this game of cricket is so exciting. Oh, what a comeback from the Trinidad and Tobago Red Force. They were put under the sword by Kieran Powell early. Look at that. Pitched and went the other way. O'Shane Thomas had no clue really what was happening out there and that was a brilliant performance in the end from the TNT Red Force and we spoke about the challenge of pace genuine pace first from Alzari Joseph first ball and on target that's as adjacent as you would get so straight away the captain taking things into his own and Keswick Williams an important first wicket for the Hurricanes. I mentioned it earlier, DJ Ganga. Alzari Joseph striking the first blow. A team that's in good bowling form. Joshua De Silva, he's gone without scoring. Scores zero for one.
significant swing into the left hand, a direct hit. Is that going to be reviewed? You just never know with a direct hit that Butler seeks assistance. He looks safely home from, from where I'm sitting. But whenever you get a direct hit, there's always... Oh, my God. Should be four, is four. Shane Thomas not quick enough to get around. And that will just release the pressure for Dial. Just ease that one down behind point. Really good shot. Edge and just away from the second slip. Wasn't there for the drive. Bravo was going to hit it on the up. And he nearly paid a heavy price, that of his wicket. <laughs> Left hit, there was bat on it, shouldering arms. So soft the dismissal. But you can sense that Alzari Joseph had the ascendancy with the battle. And he prizes the Red Force captain. I think he said, don't worry there, guys. I'll bring that special delivery to get him again. Lovely celebration there by, from Alzari Joseph. Just pinching the edge of the bat there. Darren Bravo gone for six. The score is now 16 for two. That's in the air. There's a man out there. Great effort. Oh, he just needed a partner there, Kofi James. He had to go over the boundary rope. Momentum took him. In the end, he did well, I think, to save the six. It was a brilliant catch. Good elevation. But did he touch the rope before the ball was released? It looks like he stepped on the boundary ropes while the ball was still in his hand. And that's exactly what the umpires are checking on. Yeah, you can see the soft toddler in there just moving slightly. But that was a great effort. He spliced that straight up in the air. It's going to be a third wicket. A third wicket for the Leeward Islands. A third for Alzari Joseph. He's bowling like a captain. He certainly is. No emotions this time. Short delivery. Dell trying to repeat that pull shot. Lobbed it up tamely to Kieran Powell at mid on. Mark Dell is gone for 16. Trinidad and Tobago Red Force in some trouble. 27 for 3. Yeah! Oh, he's taken that slip by Raheem Carwell. Kofi James gets his first. And they lose another Trinidad and Tobago right for. The build of pressure. Just sensed something would happen. A few half chances for the Hurricanes. And wide of the crease from Kofi James. And Rakim Cornwall doesn't drop too many at slip. And what about the celebration? Seen a few of those in the tournament. Could be trouble for the Red Force. Keon Otley batting at four today. Going for nine. 44 for four. That was a chance. A tough chance, but Alzari Joseph will be livid. And a rare boundary for the Red Force. A rare boundary and a rare bad ball as well. It was way too short by Kofi James. Pulled hard just over Alzari Joseph at short mid wicket. And it really got to him quite quickly. It would have been a stunner had he held on. None, none. Ah. Put away. Relief. 
after 27 deliveries, finally a boundary. That's a very disappointing delivery to follow up. No, no. Sure, and Wade. And it seems to hold up in the pitch, allowing Jason Mohammed to hit it well in front. That's four more. That's a glorious cover drive from Mohammed. Just beats that fielder at short cover. Beautifully played. The rank half only was there from Kofi James. And even though there was a field that plays that long off, he had no chance of cutting that off. Goes to the body straight away, but that's a fine tickle for four. Not the start he wanted to come off the bat. While he doesn't like it on his body, that's down the leg side. You need to. That's easy peasy for Jason Mohammed. He's been in the crowd for years. Well, and again, he's targeting that backside. I think it's flicked it again. No, he's given that as runs. Now, did that come off the glove? Hamilton wasn't too far away from it. Hamilton being a short guy. <laughs> Definitely glove. Oh, no. Fold in. Oh, no. They needed that, oh, no. didn't they? Yeah. Hayden Walsh delivers. He is the partnership breaker and a screamer delight. I'm pretty sure Yo. that will give the the Hurricanes a bit more confidence yeah. now. That googly again. Jason Mohammed gone for 41. The score is now 109 for five. Yes. Cuts and finds the gap. Could be a valuable boundary. It is. First for Hossein. Shot. Hussein finding the gap. Not even the Usain Bolt speed of Hayden Walsh can stop that one. That looks close, looks close. And Dighton Butler is convinced. Raises the dreaded finger. And it's Hayden Walsh Jr. who strikes. It's often an accurate finger from Dayton Butler. Oh, that's dead. Crashing into all stump. Well bowled by Hayden Walsh Jr. Oh, forcing the left-hander again with that googly. He bounced and turned. And unfortunately for Aki Hossein, he didn't pick it. He's gone for eight. Trained on a Tobago right force. 120 for six. Picked his spot. That's a man in full form. Crunch just to the right of that field at short mid-wicket and beats the long on to the left. And this is his first boundary. His body 68 deliveries and this is his first boundary. Lofted in the gap. I will fly all the way for six. That's pure class from Yannick Carrier. Now assuming control of this innings. Yeah, and that's an excellent shot. We saw that when he last batted here against her at the Eagles. Did this to Gudukesh Moti. He does it again to Durham. But like I said, Saints had an opportunity to revert the pressure on the Hurricanes. Was in the air. And it will go for four. And Terrence Saints set himself early. Stepping leg side to open up that offside. And he's able to get that. It hard enough to pass in Walsh Jr. Will be another four. Sufficient timing and power on that stroke from Terence Hines. So 
The easy pace of Justin Graves, not troubling Hines. And this is exactly why Alzari Joseph was trying not to have to call on Justin Graves. He knew it was an easy pace surface. And he would be an easier bowler to go after. And he goes straight. So he's grown accustomed to Justin Graves. The 150 comes up for the Red Force. And they look more in control of this run chase. Yeah, this is very smart. And it's low risk. Again, he goes leg side. But that fielder is in the circle at mid-off. So he just has to clear him, Alzari Joseph. And he does that quite easily. Catch the ball! Catch him is the cry. And that he does. So Powell completes the catch. Gives Hayden Walsh Jr. another wicket. And things changing a bit, as we've seen throughout the course of this match. Yeah, this happens so often. As soon as you bigger up here, they do something like this. You were just talking about good awareness and good calculation by Terence Sainz. He just got 16 from the previous over. And ill advice, he decides to take on here. And Walsh Jr. holds out to the fielder at long off. And he goes for 21 of 17 deliveries. But he goes at a crucial time. Right for us now, 156 for seven. The Ryan, as easy as ever. Cool, calm, it, it. collected, and banned for six. It's not going to waste any time in the ring. And he's able to get his hands through that. He that easily clears the man at long on. And again, even further. Well, the Ryan with different plans. And of course, Making this equation look on, quite it, easy on. with these two strokes. And again, he's allowed to free his hands. Probably has to bowl a lot come on, straighter to come him, boys, a lot tighter boys, into him. Boys. Out of the air, or a bit further away. Ask him to fetch it from wider outside off stump. Six of them again. It's the third maximum from Sunny on the right, and it could be. The deciding blow. It wasn't a bad delivery by any means, but he went for it. Took on the fielder, a deep mid wicket. Didn't hit in the sweet spot, as they would say, but had enough wood on it to take it over the boundary ropes. Goes again. He has clobbered that. Sonny on the Rhine. Well, it's all but over for the Leeward Islands Hurricanes. What a massive blow. Short delivery and the slow nature of the pitch that was slapped away to a wide mid wicket for six. Sonny on the Rhine playing a cameo on the verge of taking his team over the line. Oh, yeah. Yes, he. Will be a boundary. And to the delight of the crowd that have come out to support this Red Force side. 195 for seven. I think Karima Gore did well enough, but it won't matter. The war of attrition is over. The Red Force through Sonny and the Rhine's brilliance in the end, but mainly Yannick Carrier, who took five wickets and finished with a patient and perseverant 45. Wins the game, a crucial game for the Red Force in the qualification terms. This could get them into the semi-finals, but they stay undefeated, the Red Force, and a comprehensive win in the end. Really was a good game of cricket in the end. Hurricanes though will be livid that they only got to 198 after Kieran Powell's stunning innings. They were 110 without loss. The spin again, Carrier and Narain, eight wickets between the two. And then new ball burst from Joseph, Hayden Walsh picked up wickets, but Carrier yet to be dismissed in this tournament. Ensure they got over the line by three wickets.